so we are replacing this MHK2 thermostat. Unfortunately, it's just a little bit too complicated for Irene. So we're going to swap it out with something more simple. You'll see. It does not appear that I did myself the luxury of leaving the thermostat wire somewhere accessible. We were dealing with a lot of stuff here. So, um, yeah, I think it might be back over here. I'm not sure yet. Searching here for like ever. It was literally right here. I'm pretty sure this is our wire. I need to extend this thing. I was not such an asshole to myself on the other side of it. There we go. So we're gonna put this back on because I don't have any thermostat wire to go here to there. Kind of shitty, but I'm gonna come back tomorrow. All right, we are back. Ripping out this MHK2, putting on this easy reader thermostat so that it's easier to use for Irene. Gotta get this uh, thing wired in here. This is one of those like you played yourself kind of things because I can barely access all of this stuff. I'm really struggling to get this screw off right here. So I can have access because I'm zoomed out, but got about a hand width right there. And I got that far. And I installed this, so I can only blame myself here. But here I am. I think, yeah, the dip switches are like way up there. So I do have to get this thing off. Woo we got all these dip switches on the board. And I'm gonna write down what they all wanna be based on our settings. So here's our dip switches. And then it runs us through every single one of them and what they do. We're gonna change every single one of them. Uh, we're gonna set up this thermostat for single stage just to make, because we only have six wires. So, yeah. Right, we're literally referencing the MHK2 manual here and the thermostat interface manual. Figure out what our static settings are gonna be. PAD, we want it very, very low, so two, one. That's what we're looking for. So, we go to, we want two, one. Move to left. Oh, it's gonna be two in all these. It's one to left. Make sure this isn't something crazy. Three, three. We're gonna do this one. This one, so you need off, on, off, S2. Just gonna say on, off, off. So here we need to switch 1 1 to on, 2 2 to on. That's it. That's easy. Guys, here I am thinking that I need to go change the board, the dip switches over there. Pretty sure the dip switches are actually just in here. And the circuit board, SW and SW, the circuit board can be accessed by unfastening the four screws on the back of the case. I literally thought that that was, they were talking about, because there's dip switches on the unit. I didn't realize, I'm pretty sure they're just talking about this. <laughs> Waste of time. 1 1 and 2 2. So, do 1 1, 2 1, switch to 2. One and two dash two. There we go. All right, so we got this super ghetto. Nothing's mounted. Just to do a temporary test kind of deal. So, what's up, Rena? Oh, yeah, I got to take over this whole entire table. Put this thing in off. Yeah. Come on, buddy. I don't know 
fan just turned on. Look at that. Fantastic. Big old easy reader. Taking up half the wall here. Perfect for Irene. So we've got the uh, ghetto test set up going on here. Don't take notes on this part, but everything's working. We've tested the fan, heat, and cool. This is a much more simple thermostat. Say hi, Irene. Say hi. Hi. Huh? Huh? Almost. <laughs> You can stay here, Raina, you and Irene. <laughs> we tested it all. It all works. Now I'm going to clean all this up, close it up, and get home because it is uh, 7 p.m. So. All right, ignore my ghetto mounting, but space is limited up there. So transformer, thermostat interface. We have this thing wired for... Oh, it's upside down. We've got the transformer TCTR that feeds directly into our transformer. And we've got CR, Y1, W1, and G. It tells us specifically to use the first stage if you only use one wire. Don't ask me why, that's atypical. But yeah, so that's how we have it wired in. Oh, I need to cap those little two wires. Good thing I took that little video. I'll cut those two wires real quick. We'll make it cleaner on another day because it is late and it is working. So you got this thing screwed in up here, right there. The thing's mounted on the drywall with anchors. And uh, yeah. Damn it. So I just want to add that the reason that we're swapping this out is because these thermostats have a tendency, I think it's built into their programming to have an extended runtime. So they overshoot the set temp. Most of our customers don't really care, but Irene didn't like it. So if we set it to 72, what it would do is it, it keeps running for a while after it hits 72 to it's like a runs at a very minimal output, but sometimes that 72 will turn into like 74. And Irene didn't like it. Hi, huh, Irene. Is this easier? Better? Yes, okay.